Hey, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we'll be creating an animated Instagram stories for your business. So let's get started by creating a new composition and we'll be creating a vertical video 1080 by 920 and about 30 seconds. Hit OK. So here I have my stock image. I'm going to drag and drop it on top of this new composition and that creates a pre-comp for me. If I go back to this comp, I can drag and drop the newly created image pre-comp inside that. So scale it down to fit the comp size. Hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale. Set a keyframe, go to the last and scale it up. So let's go ahead and type the text. All right, so I'm gonna change it back to white and I'm just gonna select this shape and just have a stroke of about five pixel and I'm gonna change this color to something like red like this all right so let's go ahead and create a new solid a white solid hit OK and I'm gonna go and search for twirl under distort drag and drop it on the, on the new solid and here I'll have to change the angle and radius to 100 and if I move these points around you can see a very cool effect here make a transition from from here right so set somewhere here and set a keyframe for this twirl center and if you go few frames for maybe about two seconds and if I bring back here something like this and I really don't want this so I'm gonna tweak this values and I'll have to make a keyframe for this also and if I hit U to bring up just the keyframes and at the beginning of the timeline I have to bake another keyframe for this angle again and right now something like this I'm gonna reposition and readjust this again something like this all right select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease I'm gonna tweak this graph to something like this so that it is smoother all right once you have that let's go and create the text for register now all right so I'm going to scale it down and paragraph to the right side and I'm going to draw a, a shape around this. Grab this rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle around this, something like this. I'm going to, and I'm going to move this rectangle just below the text and change this text color to white. Select this shape and select this anchor point and I'm gonna move it somewhere here. All right, let's go ahead and animate this text. So for this, I use my text animation presets, which is available for free to download. You can find the links from the description down below. You can just download it and you can install it inside the preset folder inside of your After Effects. So I've installed it inside this text and motion designer text animation presets. Here you have the presets and I'm gonna apply this on top of this text. All right, so once this is revealed right about here, I want this shape your body to, 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 to rise up from below. So slide from below, I'll select this, drag and drop it on the text, All right? So I'm going to tweak a little bit of this text animation by going inside this animator one this position so i'm gonna move it down somewhere here so that it comes like that all right so make sure you you turn on the motion blur for this text and for the composition hit s and unlock this constraint proportion and we're going to animate just this so right after that so right after that go a few frames and set a keyframe for the scale come back a few frames and set this x value to zero so that is what you have 
select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease, go to the graph and change or tweak the graph to something like what I'm doing here. And once you have that, you can duplicate this shape layer, control D and drag it just above this register now. And I'm gonna mask this out by clicking that, right? So once you have that, I'm going to duplicate this overlay, control D and shut off the eye for this hit T to bring up the opacity and lower the opacity to maybe around 70%. And what I'm going to do is shut on this again and rename this overlay to and control shift and Y to bring up these controls and pick the red color and it can change this mode to soft light. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, you know, hit U on the keyboard to bring up just the keyframes, delete this keyframe, and we're gonna do some animation for these points, right? Random animation for this, uh, you know, center. Once you have that here, you want this to, you know, it's just a random, random, you know, uh, animation, position, animation here just record some random keyframes go a few frames ahead and you just have to move this around and once you have a couple of keyframes like this you can just select all of the keyframes hold down alt on the keyboard and you know stretch it stretch it all over the timeline like this so the, the last and final step that I did was um, select the text and type in plus plus and make sure you center it here layer transform and center anchor point to layer content so you have this here hit R on the keyboard and rotate it something like this and hold down alt and click on this rotation and type in an expression which is wiggle sorry wiggle bracket two comma 100 maybe i'm gonna duplicate this control d to duplicate have some variation on the size and position and maybe on the wiggle as well right so okay so i'm gonna duplicate a few copies of this and maybe change the color to 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 red or something like that duplicate it move it around like you got the idea i hope you learned something from this video thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care